Welcome to Joshua Production. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe so that each time I post a new video, you might be notified. And if you have already subscribed to my channel, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the solutions of accounts paper 2 of 2016 and we're going to be looking at question 1b. If you want to check out the other videos for this same past paper, make sure you check the description section of this video. Also remember to support us through our services that we provide. We sell some past papers with answers. We provide online tuitions. We sell some books. We sell some full topics videos. And we provide video and photo shootings. So question 1b reads, classify the transactions below according to capital expenditure, revenue expenditure, revenue receipt, and capital receipt. But before we go into details, we need to add, we need to understand the definitions for these transactions. So what is capital expenditure? Capital expenditure is the amount of money that is spent to acquire a non-current asset or to increase the value of a non-current asset. So capital expenditure is the amount of money that is spent to acquire a non-current asset or to increase the value of a non-current asset. Then revenue expenditure. Revenue expenditure is the amount of money that is used to run the business on the day-to-day -day activities or is the amount of money that is spent not to increase the value of the existing non-current asset. Then revenue receipt. Revenue receipt consists of sales and other revenues that are added to gross profit and these include rent received, commission received and discount received. Then let's go to capital receipt. So capital receipt records the sales of goods that we are bought under capital expenditure. So let us now look at the question further. Number number one reads, import duty paid on delivery of office computers bought for business use. So import duty paid on delivery of office computers bought for business use. That's going to be capital expenditure. Then Loma numero two, sale of all odd sale of odd furniture by check. So sale of odd furniture by check, that's going to be capital receipt. Then Loma numero three, payment of interest on a loan obtained for extension of factory premises. That's going to be revenue expenditure. Loma numero 4, commission received for work done on behalf of another trader. So commission received for work done on behalf of another trader, that's going to be revenue receipt. Then Loma numero 5 reads, legal cost for buying a new factory building legal cost for buying a new factory building that's going to be capital expenditure so that's all about the answers of question 1b so if you want to check out the other answers for this same past paper make sure you check the description section of this video and also remember to support us through our services that we provide we sell some past papers with answers, we provide online tuitions, we sell some books, we sell some full topics videos, and we provide video and photo shootings. And if you want to check the prices of everything that I've mentioned, make sure you check the description section of this video. I'll meet you next time. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Peace.